Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Practical Bible Studies, and today I wanted to talk about the top five Bible translations. Now this is more of a subjective list that kind of fits my taste, and you might have different tastes, so make sure to leave it in the comments below. But first, let's take a look. <music> I was going to make this a top 10 list, but I couldn't find 10 translations that I really liked, so I went down to 5. Number 5 is the King James Version. I like the King James Version because of its reverence, it's a lot of my memory verses from when I was a child, and it's got very good scholarship for the time. The problem is, however, that the manuscripts used to translate it are a little bit outdated. We've since discovered much better manuscripts, much older manuscripts. I don't want to get into textual criticism, you can always look that up later. I recommend the book The King James Only Controversy by Dr. James White, and I'll leave a link to that below. But the King James translation is very good. Number four, the New American Standard Bible, or NASB. Now, I prefer the 1995 version. Some people prefer the 1977, but I personally like the 1995. It's easy to follow verse by verse. They're numbered really well. There's great scholarship behind it. It's mostly word for word, but that's also the con. It's kind of wooden because it takes such a very literal approach. There are places where it's actually more difficult to understand because of that. Number three, the New Revised Standard Version, or NRSV. I almost put the New American Standard at three, but the NRSV is a very good, good translation. It's got great scholarship, great flow, and it's a little easier to understand than the NASB. The con is it's less literal which is also a pro depending on your point of view. But when a translation is not literal enough, sometimes you get a little bit of a, a divide. Number two is the English Standard Version, or ESV. It's got fantastic scholarship, great flow, no real cons except perhaps for a Baptist-leaning theology. Now, this is not an issue for me, but it might be for some. You just kind of got to pay attention to your points of view. Number one, the New English Translation, or NET. This version took a long time to come up with. It was translated by some of the best scholars. It's extremely detailed in its notes, and they're available for free. However, I have the notes in the full notes edition of the NET. It's fantastic. It's concise, and it's very careful to translate in the correct way. But if you don't agree with the translation, there are a lot of notes that give you alternative perspectives. So I really enjoy it. So what did you guys think of the list? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments section, and I'll try to respond. In the meantime, visit www.practicalbiblestudies.net and check out some of the other links I have down in the description. Thank you, and God bless.